In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually play football in Minecraft. So let's get into it. Now starting off, as you know, this Super Bowl is today, and I decided to make a American football video on how to actually play the game. Now it is pretty simple, and it requires barely any redstone, just some simple stuff and no actual redstone is needed. So let's go into how to play the game. The first mechanics is obviously the football. Now football is being determined by using a bow and spectral arrows. Now obviously the quarterback will have to pass it to someone using a bow. And they will obviously have to aim it and determine the fall off rate and all of that stuff whilst the other person tries to get hit by the arrow. Once hit by the arrow, the player will actually uh, glow as you can see if I get hit. I will glow, and that will determine who actually has caught in the ball. So if it gets intercepted, then the player will know who actually got it. Now the second step is actually tackling someone, and all of that. So to do that, I have a wooden sword enchanted with fire aspect 1. Now obviously whenever I hit someone with it, they will be lit on fire just like so. And that will be indicated where they actually got tackled down. So obviously wherever they get tackled down, then you could put up a marker there as well. And you can do this by using banners. So if I go into creative mode and grab these banners from my inventory, I can put a red banner wherever the person had gotten tackled. And then I can also use a yellow banner to indicate a first down. So these banners are really useful, especially if you have a referee inside this game. Now you can play this game with how many players you actually want to play with, it does not really matter. But it's just how much friends you can get to play with you, because this is a pretty fun game. And the last mechanic that is really needed is to make a field goal. Now this is obviously if you choose to do a field goal, but as you can see if you click this button, the ball will actually either miss or make it into the field goal. And this dispenser is 28 blocks up and 12 blocks and this dispenser is 28 blocks away and 12 blocks up. So as you can see, if we shoot it, it will occasionally go inside. Now you can adjust this to make it either go inside more or actually fail more. Whichever you think you want to do, but obviously make it the same for both sides so that they have an even chance of making it or missing it. Or you could rig the game, but you know, I wouldn't recommend that for fair sportsmanship. And lastly is the uniforms. As you can see, I have chosen the two uniforms of the Super Bowl players, which are the Bengals and the Rams. So as you can see, there are outfits for both sides, and I'm going to show you guys how to make this. First of all, start off with a leather cap, leather tunic, leather pants, and leather boots. And make as much as needed. But this is actually pretty simple to do, most requiring one or two dyes. So, uh, first of all, starting off with the Rams, you're going to need blue dye for the helmet, blue dye for the chest plate, then you're going to need yellow dye for the pants, and uh, lastly, white dye for the boots. And that is a pretty simple combination to actually make. Now, for the bangles, it's going to be a little bit different, so what you're going to need to do is add orange dye, two of them, and one red dye. And actually, you may want to add one more orange dye to make it slightly more orange. And this will make this little dark orange color. Next, for uh, the chest plate, what you're going to need to do is just add black. Then after that, add white pants, just one white dye. And lastly, for this off-colored white, you're going to need three white dye and uh, one yellow dye. Just like so. You can obviously add in a little bit more white to get the exact coloring. But as you can see, it has worked. Now I can put this on. For the Rams, it would look something like this on a player. And obviously you can take the cape off to match it. And then for the Bengals, all I would have to do is put this on. And as you can see, it looks like this. Both outfits look pretty cool and it represents the colors. Now obviously you can do any uniform style that you want to actually pick. I just picked these ones because I think they look pretty cool. And you can obviously do this for any other team. I just made these two because they are in the Super Bowl. 
So you can choose whatever you want to do with these outfits. You can mix and match it to whatever your favorite team actually plays and what you want to see them go against each other. And what you can also do is customize the fields, you know, add in little details, spots for each team, and make it look really great. I'd recommend you making this field actually pretty big, considering you're gonna need to be running around a lot. And as you can see, if I were to run to the other side, it would take quite a while, probably about 10 or 15 seconds, somewhere within that range, and it would be pretty hard to actually make it without someone tackling you. So this is why I feel like this is a really ineffective way of playing, just make sure you have even teams, a pretty big field, and a pretty big field goal. Now let me actually give you guys the size of this field goal so that you know if you want to copy the exact dispenser field goal type of system. So for this field goal, all you're going to need to do is go find blocks just like this on the edge right over here with a base wood block. It can be any type, but wood looks the best. And then what you're going to want to do is go 9 blocks out each way with one in the middle. So in total that would leave you with 19 blocks. And then go up about 8, just like this. And that would make you these wide field goals possible of people making it in. And obviously only use the dispensers for this because if you use a bow you can just easily aim it in and there's not much missing going to happen. And obviously that'd be boring, wasting it all on a miss. And if you do this system, it'll actually require the players to go for the more riskier play. But obviously you can change these around to make it easier or harder for the players. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you would like to see next and any suggestions of future videos. Now, go grab a group of friends, share it with them, and see if they would like to play uh, football in Minecraft. And if you want to do this, you can also make an SMP, which I made a video on how to make an SMP easily for free. Go watch that in the end cards above and below, and see if you can actually make a SMP and set up this football game. But anyways, have fun watching football today, and I hope your favorite team will actually win. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And once again, I just want to say, leave a comment of what you would want to see next because I really like to see what you guys want me to add into the game and I try to make it for you guys to make some kind of a way to actually have your idea possible inside Minecraft. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.